Today, Kenya experienced an unprecedented attack on its democracy, rule of law, and the integrity of its constitutional institutions. An otherwise legitimate expression of the fundamental rights and freedoms of assembly, demonstration, picketing, and petitioning of public authorities by a section of law-abiding citizens of the Republic of Kenya was infiltrated and hijacked by a group of organized criminals. Most regrettably, today's attack on Kenya's constitutional order has resulted in the loss of lives. Also, destruction of property and desecration of institutions and emblems of our sovereignty. Today's events mark a critical turning point on how we respond to grave threats to our national security. I assure the nation that the government has mobilized all resources at the nation's disposal to ensure that a situation of this nature will not recur again at whatever cost. I thank our security officers who were on duty today for applying themselves to the best of their abilities in the defense of Kenya and its people. Accordingly, I have directed all the organs of our national security to deploy measures to thwart any attempt by dangerous criminals to undermine the security and stability of our country. As the people of Kenya go to bed tonight, I give you my assurance that your security, that of your families and property remains my utmost priority. To the young people of Kenya, who I must thank for helping our country organize our democratic discourse around issues, I thank you and assure you that the conversation you have begun around pertinent issues of our nation will continue to inform our policy and governance decisions. As I promised on Sunday, this conversation will not be in vain. I will not only champion for the cause of issue-based, policy-oriented, and tribeless engagement on critical national issues, but also provide a framework for this conversation to be processed and its outcomes implemented. However, our national conversation on any subject matter must be conducted in a manner that respects and honors the foundational values upon which our nation is established. We have, we have incurred as a nation today. It is possible that the criminals who rained terror on innocent people and attempted to challenge our law enforcement deployments are still determined to continue with their dangerous behavior. I assure the nation of the government's determination to fulfill its constitutional duty of protecting the people of Kenya against all forms of harm. I hereby put on notice the planners, financiers, orchestrators, and abettors of violence and anarchy that the security infrastructure established to protect our republic and its sovereignty will be deployed to secure the country and restore normalcy. 
it is not in order or even conceivable that criminals pretending to be peaceful protesters can reign terror against the people, their elected representatives, and the institutions established under our constitution and expect to go scot-free. We must isolate crime from democratic expression and separate criminals from people exercising the freedom of expression and divergent opinion. I shall continue to lead a government that is fully committed to maintaining the integrity of our state, promoting the unity of our nation, and enhancing the peace and security of all citizens and their livelihoods. I am bound and a sacred constitutional mandate to respect, uphold, and defend the Constitution of Kenya, which declares that all sovereign power belongs to the people, and that this power shall be exercised only in accordance with the Constitution. The government will therefore uphold its constitutional mandate secure our nation and its development and shall treat every threat to national security and the integrity of our state as an existential danger to our republic. Accordingly, I assure Kenyans that we shall provide a full, effective, and expeditious response to today's prisoners events. Thank you. That has been the president.